Hello, welcome back to my blog Eddie's English Literature. Today we are going to read John Galsorti's Justice. We will read this segment with some basic question answer and some analysis on few basic points. It has been written by John Galsorti. It was first published in 1910. The type of the work is drama and the type of the plot is social criticism it was published in 1910 that i have already told you and the setting is london the principal characters that we will meet here is william falder coxon rath honeywell and the journal is social realism and obviously it's a problem now what's the subject is here the justice system, the prison suicide, the laws and bylaws at the prison laws that we will meet at London, the divert system, the injustices, the inhumanism and as well as the study of humanism that we will meet here in this literary piece. We can have John Galsorti's other contributions, the man of property in Chancery, Awakening, Too Late, The Foresight Saga, one of the beautiful writing, The White Monkey, The Silver Spoon, Swan Song, and uh, obviously uh, Over the River, and End of the Chapter, Strife, The Fijian, Old English, and The Roop, that are notable work that you will meet in your future course of studies. This author, John Galsorti, was awarded the 1932 Nobel Prize in Literature. Now, first of all, we will meet the different characters here uh, and try to analyze how deep they are making an impact on this particular drama. First of all, who is William Fowler? A junior clerk in a law firm who raises a company checkbook from 9 to 90 pounds and is sent to prison for three years. When he is released on parole, he is apprehended by the police for not reporting to the parole authorities. He breaks away from the arresting officer and kills himself by jumping from an office window. So, this is a suicide and that particular suicide and who may what system has uh, implored him or rather uh, dragged him into the suicide is the very subject matter in this uh, drama rathani will the woman for whom father altered the check he had intended to take rath and his two children from her brutish husband and he needed the money for the expenses that they would incur when they left London. So, by my father committed the crime for a noble cause of rescuing a girl. Robert Coxon, a senior clerk in the farm, he supports father through the trial and while he is in prison and after his release, somewhere there is a father figure in Coxon. James and Walter Howe, the partners in a law firm and they, and they are father's employers. They cause father's arrest but after his release from prison, they are willing to discuss taking him back into their company. But somehow it never been actualized and uh, that meets a tragic end of the father. Davis, a junior clerk first su suspected of altering the checkbook. Hector Fromm, father's attorney during the trial, and there is Harold Cleaver, the counsellor for the prosecution at father's trial. Galsorti took the pseudonym John Sinjon. Galsorti was a representative of the literary tradition which has regarded the art as an instrument of social debate. 
he believed that it was the duty of an artist to examine a problem not to provide a solution but to uh, acknowledge the people of this society the problems or the pred predicaments that they face um, in those situations so he, he, this is typically a problem playwright's view now here in justice uh, John Galsorthy deliberately chose the title Justice in order to satirize the contemporary social and legal system of the country, which in the name of justice is in fact injustice, forced the helpless individuals like Fowler and Ruth to suffer and perish finally in the most inhuman way uh, in a, a civilized society. So so-called British society and its judicial system is in question and uh, Galsothi puts a uh, puts this kind of social problems in front of us in his play justice now uh, from the literary point of view uh, the subtitle of the drama is a tragedy now uh, if, uh, if it is at all a social tragedy or not in the purview of Aristotelian view so uh, we can say justice is different from the other tragedies written in Aristotelian formula. There is no conventional hero-villain conflict in the play. The central protagonist father is not at all a heroic figure. Rather, he is of a weak-willed and nervous personality. Again, the place of the villain has been taken by the inhuman social and legal systems uh, to which the hero becomes a victim. So Aristotelian model is missing altogether here. So we cannot we cannot say that it's a tragedy in its Greek model, but rather a social tragedy. We can definitely say, as uh, it is being shown, how the barbaric justice system is making injustice uh, to fellow individuals. In Galsorthi's Justice, the central protagonist father is a weak-willed and nervous person with a good intention of providing relief to a suffering woman, Ruth. In so doing, he commits a crime which leads him to prison and to death. Thus, he becomes a pathetic figure rather than a tragic one. But definitely, father is everywhere and father in a society can be every man so here uh, also this point of view is that the society is in villain and the individuals or the subjects of the society can be a victim of that on the other hand Ruth is a poor and impressive woman married to a brutish drunkard her suffering makes her love father sincerely again she does all this more for her children than for herself like Ruth in the Old Testament, she is a sad and gloomy figure. As tortured by her drunkard husband almost to death, Ruth Hanuel comes to meet Fallar for being rescued from him. But in the office, Coxon tells her that such personal affairs are not entertained. This forces Ruth, it is a matter of life and death. All her hopes, however, get shattered at the death of Fallar that we find at the end of the play. Now, Father Son Dio, James Howe and Walter Howe. James Howe is the embodiment of the cruel, inhuman social and legal system. It is not, of course, that he is the villain of the piece. He judges and acts on the prevalent conventional morality that makes him blind to the serious flaws in the system. He is the owner of the farm in which father is a junior clerk. When he comes to know of the crime, he decides to send him to jail and most probably most of the gems at his position might do that. Now his son Walter Howe is rather more a human character we find Walter Howe the very son of James Howe stands as a foil to his father owing to generosity and clear view of events he judges everything on the human ground and tries his 
best to dissuade his father James from sending father to prison. While his father represents a kind of conventional morality, Walter Howe represents the kind of uh, progressive one, a kind of morality that, that Galsorti wants the social and the legal institution to go by. When uh, Walter comes to know of the crime committed by father, he decides not to send him to jail as it is his first crime. But the situation such prompts that father was jailed. And in the final point when uh, father uh, fails to, when after the prison father fails to report that uh, um, to the police and when a second time he is going to be uh, going to be jailed or going to be uh, crowd, uh, he tries to protect father. After the detection of father's forgery and his confession, James Howe decides upon prosecuting father. Walter Howe, his son, pleads for father's case. He opines that father, a gentleman, must have been tempted to do this. His words indicate that he is a good-natured youth who judges everything on the human ground. The quality of mercy is not strained. Walter Howe quotes this famous line from Portia's speech in Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice, uh, where she appeals to Shylock for Antonio's case. Walter Howe wants to convey uh, that mercy is a greater virtue and therefore greater justice which makes everyone happy. He tries to convey his father that they should pardon on this virtue and father be given a second chance. In Galsorti's justice, Coxon, the head clerk of the house firm, is a good-natured person, but he has his own limitations as a member of lower class or lower middle class. He understands father and feels for him, but he cannot go against his employer. Finally, he answers all fittingly at the end when father dies that a little bit of humanity might have saved a life. Father's defense counsel, Mr. Trom, introduces the metaphor of machine in order to convey the sense that the legal system operates in such an inhuman way that it makes mockery of the concept of justice and destroys the very individual completely. At the end of Father's life, this word proves its truest meaning. In the course of sentencing father to imprisonment, the judge as a protector and agent of the existing legal system asserts that the institutional law is a noble one. It seeks to protect the good citizens from the bad ones, to protect the society. The judge is the spokesman of the conventional concept of justice in the contemporary judicial system. Naturally, his opinions and views do not go by human norms. Also, the, through his drama, Justice likes to hammer this point. In Justice, the most striking feature is the very mute scene and the trial scene. Uh, the mute scene that is in Act 3, Scene 3, is very important from the theatrical point of view. Since uh, through this Golsorti presents the deep agony of a helpless man, father, in the solitary confinement. The scene arouses not only our pity and fear but also our hatred for the judicial system that is currently running in England. The trial scene in Justice sets the play in motion. The title of the play is directly related to the trial scene because there it concentrates or 
concretizes the conflict between two abstract forces of antagonism law versus humanity so here kalsorthi leads us into the very problem in his problem play justice now here is a list of question that you should try and your answers may be posted in the comment section if you have any doubt you can ask me i'll try my best to give this kind of lectures and a deliberate point of dragging you into the theme of the drama so that your studies may be a complete one like share comment and obviously subscribe to my channel bye bye Thank you.